May 15th, 2023. We're gonna do a thorough walkthrough of J. Crew, a 2003 55 Sea Race Sundancer. We've had a few customers interested in seeing some more detail uh, regarding the vessel, so we'll go through and uh, do a completely thorough walk around and detailed walkthrough. Hydraulic swim platform, storage in the back of the transom, have a cable master. 50 amp power cord, track vision, and a fairly new Garmin open array radar and chart plotter, which we'll see the plotter coming up here in a few minutes. About two weeks ago, the vessel was compounded and waxed, water lined to the hard top. And some door as you enter the cockpit area. This seat here will actuate out and make a large sunbed. Absolutely huge cockpit area. Steps to get down your walkways to the bow. port side of the vessel. Crash chute and sink. U-line ice maker and isotherm refrigerator. And up to the helm station. Nice bench seat next to the captain's chair. Garmin Plotter, Raymarine Data Center, Autopilot, Trim Tab Control, Spotlight Control, Engine Shifters, Thruster Control, Engine Information, and looking back down into the cockpit area. make our way into the cabin. Now we're down into the salon and galley area. We have a nice wine storage area here. Large flat screen TV mounted on the wall. Very nice. We have a large refrigerator here. This would be the location for the washer dryer if somebody were to add a washer dryer to the boat storage area, every area available for storage, Sea Ray utilized, sink with a granite insert, you have a trash chute, we have microwave and coffee maker built into the cabinetry. And overhead cabin storage as well. The window in the galley. More overhead storage for another nice deep area. Behind the sink. Just to the side of the sink. Nice pull out drawers. Area 
idea for cooking sheets or cutting board. So abundant amount of storage throughout the galley. And you have the little bar stools here underneath the high-low table. Beautiful teak table. And the bar stools, you have storage as well. Two of these guys. Lots of storage behind the couch. Another large refrigerator aft. As you can see, very nice condition. And this sofa will extend out and make into a bed. And aft, we have the master stateroom. Real nice stateroom. Lots of storage in front of the bed. Flat panel TV built in. Portholes and skylight to bring in a lot of light from outside. Bed spreads. Hanging locker, cedar line closet. And into the bath area. Very nice size bath. Forward. bed, hanging lockers, port, and starboard in the vessel. Nice storage built into the sides here as well. Port holes, skylight, and a nice arrangement with your shower being on the starboard side, separate from the bath that is on the port. This bath has a door that can access it without having to go into the stateroom. It can be used like a day head. You do have a, another skylight in the salon here. Those uh, surround sound for this area as well. Now we'll make our way into the mechanical areas. Just aft of the stairway leading into the salon, there's a hatch that opens, and you have a utility room here that contains your air conditioning units, as well as filters for your fresh water system and an expansion tank for the fresh water system. Nice separate area for accessing and servicing air conditioning equipment. And then after that, my cockpit area is entry into your main engine area. Make our way down there. Now we're in the engine area. Once you get down here, you remove the stairs by two pins. You clip on right there. Allows you good access around everything. Engines are in fantastic condition. Shaft logs. Engine oil change system. Air conditioning pump.
the main engine through holes. Fire suppression. Engine secondary fuel filters. Everything's just in fantastic shape down here. Props. Wester Beak generator. Sound shield is in very nice condition. Batteries. Battery charger. More batteries down here. It's your cable master for shore power. Hydraulic pump for the hydraulic sun platform. Charger. It's a really nice area. One other thing I wanted to show was the generator. If you've looked at many of these boats of her era, generators don't typically look like this, as well as the original insulation inside the sound, the sound shield, all intact. So, fantastic example of a vessel of our area. All right, out of the machinery area and the hatch closed back down, now we'll go up to the bow. So you can see what that looks like. Large hard top up here. See the new Garmin. Open array radar. Just an enormous bow. Lots of room to add some pads. Windless. It's a hatch for your bow stateroom, skylights, skylight in the center of the salon, overall extremely nice vessel. Well that is it for J Crew. if you have any questions you can reach me at 954-816 0171. I'm Brandon Flaherty from Marine Max.